All right, guys, let's take a look at some Sujis. I think I'm saying that right. C Stern, and then I don't have any C cores, but um, I'm mostly, honestly, interested in the C Stern and the Sujis models, colorways and uh, style of watches, just because of how much value they offer you. So, uh, thankfully, C Stern uh, up sent these to me. So, that I think they're all tied together, all three groups, and they sent these two watches to me. These two I actually bought. But these two they actually sent over. This guy here is a, quote, vintage 38 millimeter Pilot. And it has the Seagull chronograph manual wind movement in it with a nice large display case back there. So that's really fun. Beautiful colorway on this one, too. And there's a ton of different options once you kind of get into. This is the smaller version. This is the a little bit larger version. Both of them housing essentially the same movement. But there's a ton of options, a ton of great colorways. And when I say affordable, these are like $250. Um, and you might even be able to get them cheaper depending on what colorway you're looking at or if there's any special pricing or anything like that. But overall, just um, it, it's hard to argue with the, the uh, purchase price of uh, some of these offerings for sure. This guy is a 38 millimeter case. 46.9 millimeter lug to lug. You can see a very thin mid case there. This little blue stuff here is just like a scratch resistant stuff. You just wipe that off on the pushers. Uh, but I like the case shape on the side here profile. They kind of loop around and then they have drilled lugs as well. It is 13.5 millimeter thick, has a boxed and double domed sapphire crystal, 20 millimeter lug width. The straps that come with it are genuine leather, so they're probably entry level leather and they do have quick release spring bars. This one they sent, I don't know if all of them do, but they sent over two different colors. So I have a black strap for it and I have this really nice dark blue strap if you wanted to change that up. Both of them are, once you, um, I take them off and I kind of roll them up, kind of half break them in by hand and then I can put it on wrist and it'll be a little more comfortable. It has a seven millimeter signed push pull crown and you just wind it in the first position. And then if you pull it out one, It'll actually uh, adjust the uh, time setting on it. Of course, I have the chronograph running, but if you stop that and reset it, it just snaps right back into place. The fun part about this guy is you can do that. Let's zoom in. You can do that while looking at the case back, so you can see exactly what's happened. As I slowly push on it, you can kind of see what lever is actually mechanically controlling all that. And then you have the swan neck regulator over there, if you're brave enough to pop this case back off and uh, do some regulation, but probably not gonna need to. But look at that color. It is just stunning. Beautiful color on this one. Has a full polished handset and applied indices. Very fun watch. Now, totally a different end of the spectrum here is a pilot watch. They're calling this the Mark 20, I guess. Um, it's a 40 millimeter, and this one has an NH35 in it with just an all stainless steel case back with some like military looking markings on there. Again, quick release spring bars, and then this thing obviously is going to be on the larger side because it is a pilot watch. It's not large, but 40 millimeter case, 48 lug to lug. The thickness is only 11.75, fully brushed, 20 mil lug width, 6 millimeter screw down crown on this one and you have the date when we zoom back in a little bit you can see you have a polished framed date or handset with loom inlaid and then a nice loomed out dial slightly textured with all the uh, arabics on there that being loomed and the minute tracks so just a great looking watch this one came with one strap that's plenty i did the same thing it was actually kind of stiff out of box so I uh, roughed it up a little bit, and I think I got it broken in. Let me pop it on wrist real quick. This watch, the Pilot watch, is only 110 bucks. How crazy is that? 100, I think it's like $109. But here's the 40 mil on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Basically 100 bucks. I, they might charge you shipping, but if that's within your budget and you're just picking up one watch, fine. But um, kind of slowly becoming a guilty pleasure of mine is um, even today I ordered a couple more watches from uh, these great offerings from 
you know, Suja, Seastern, and uh, even some other brands. So that one is just stunning. Love that blue color. Very fun. Now the ones I have in the background here, like I said, they didn't send these guys over, but really, really like this style. And then I put it on this Zurich leather strap. I think it fits it really good. There's a ton of different colorways in this configuration as well. And then of course you have the divers from Seastern and uh, they're, uh, again, a ton of different colorways. And then I put them on uh, the FKM rubber straps. These are, you know, you can get them aftermarket wherever, but I really love the FKM rubber straps on the dive watches now. We do have loom on the uh, pilot style watch, so let me charge that up. We'll kill the lights, we'll check that out. There's no loom on the, the chronograph one, but that's to be expected. But look at that. I mean, just a quick blast, and it, it just glows. Tons of loom on this thing. Super fun. Awesome watch. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.